Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm posting a video, kind of a tutorial, but also I want to talk about the mistakes that can happen when working with Jasmineite, and this is something that happened to me a few days ago when I tried to make a black trinket tray with gold flakes. So I'm just setting up my silicone mold here. Um, these are the gold sheets that I ordered off Amazon. They break really easily and they also stick to the silicone molds really easily as you can see here. And again, this is like me doing this for the first time ever so I did not know what to expect. Like, for example, in this case, I lifted the sheet and part of it just broke off and got stuck and I couldn't take it off. So I was just trying to figure out how can I even take it off and I ended up sort of just like rubbing it off and then it just got completely stuck to the mold. So then I just began to break it apart and place little chunks on the mold one by one. Uh, the foil definitely gets stuck easily to any surfaces like even your fingers and I've seen people use like tweezers or even small paint brushes to apply the foil onto different surfaces but in this case I just wanted to see how this whole project was going to turn out and I didn't want to like spend too much time making it perfect because I like to learn from my mistakes and I find that's just the best way how I learn. So I try I try not to be perfect like the first time around. And like in this case, I definitely used way too much <laughs> of this foil, but that's okay. Um, since then I've made a second tray, which I actually posted a video about a week ago, so you can go check it out. And that tray turned out amazing. So that was my second tray using gold flakes and the results were pretty incredible. I was pretty proud of myself, um, but again, it's because I made a ton of mistakes in this one. And again, because I was experimenting and using the flakes for the first time, I wasn't exactly sure how much to put on there and I just kind of went crazy and was just adding and adding and layering but there's no need to add this much like this was a little too much uh, but again live and learn so i used black and charcoal pigment for this and i actually started off adding drops of the charcoal pigment first to get a base color i was hoping that it was going to turn out like a pretty pretty dark gray and i added a few drops of it but unfortunately it was pretty light and I just kept adding and adding and eventually I added the black pigment and it was just not dark enough so I just kept adding and adding and adding more. So the entire process like of me stirring it took way longer than it, than it normally does when I'm making a trinket tray and sadly the mix actually began setting while I was still mixing so it was becoming thick and then once I started pouring it in the mold it was already like it was just too thick and it didn't spread evenly in the mold so at this point I've added a few drops of the charcoal and black pigment and then added some more and then some more but the mix was still looking pretty gray not black so the reason why I was being careful and, and only adding a few drops at a time is because I have watched other tutorials and people that actually use like pure pigment, they usually just use like one to two drops and sometimes that's enough to actually create a solid color that they're going for. And in my case, I purchased like a package of these tiny bottles off of Etsy and I'm actually starting to realize that it's not pure pigment in there and they are likely 
diluted and that's why it takes a lot more product to create a solid color and the reason why I purchased like this pigment kit off of Etsy instead of just buying individual pigments is because I'm new to making jasmineite and like I said I'm just learning and experimenting so jasmineite itself is really pricey and so are the pigments so if I were to buy individual bottles of pure pigments it would cost me a lot of money and I had no idea how my journey with jasmineite was going to turn out and I just did not have the money to <laughs> purchase everything but if everything goes well and I actually end up selling my products then I will for sure make the investment and purchase bigger bottles of both pigments and jasmineite. And this is what I was telling you earlier in the video, because I kept mixing and mixing and mixing, eventually the mix just began to set and it was really thick. So like you see here, it's not really spreading evenly. So at this point, I knew that this was not going to be a successful project. Um, there's no amount of sanding that could smooth the bottom of the tray. It was very uneven, very bumpy, but of course I just kept going, um, you know, might as well. I spent all this time mixing it and I was still curious to see what the other side was going to look like. So I did not care too much. I mean, like I said, I did this just so I could learn and now I know what not to do. I still tapped around a little bit just to get rid of air bubbles, although at this point the whole thing was pretty much like rock solid and the whole thing has like already cured basically. So I only set the timer for like another, I think, eight minutes and then I took it out. Okay, so enough time passed and now I'm ready to demold it. First time making a black trinket tray with some gold flakes which wow look at that that looks already oh my god that looks so amazing okay the moment of truth let's do this yep oh, this yeah i guess that was on the outside okay well let's see what do we have so there's a few flakes that did not set oh my goodness this actually looks so good um okay well i mean not quite minus that but like if i were to do this again now i know what to do and where i messed up so now i can just kind of go like this and get rid of all the excess flakes overall it turned out pretty good like from this side at least um and actually i'm loving the color that like gets not completely black when I'm looking at it in person it's a little different on camera but it actually looks really great like I love this color oh my gosh it's um it's honestly not bad it's pretty gorgeous and I'm still gonna use this piece for any photos or photo shoot and stuff but yeah like the back is um pretty the back is the back looks awful and i don't think any amount of sanding is gonna smooth this out so again this is just for my own personal use and for my own um pictures but now i know what i did wrong and i now i know what i would have to do um to make it better okay well that's it <laughs>